When you are setting up a complete PBX system, one of the first decisions you need to make concerns endpoints. An endpoint is the device that is used to handle a telephone call. It can be the standard handset on your desk, a cell phone in your pocket, or a soft phone on your laptop. The endpoints in Complete PBX can be configured in one of two modes. Extension mode, device and user mode. Note this important point. These modes are system-wide definitions and mutually exclusive. Consequently, you'll need to make an upfront decision about the mode before you start configuring the system. We'll relate to each mode in turn. Extension mode is for systems in which you want a fixed line between the endpoint and a specific user extension. In this mode, the numerical extension will always correspond to the same physical endpoint. The endpoint is always assigned to a fixed device in the system, such as a fixed FXS channel or a fixed SIP channel. Here are some examples of endpoints for which extension mode should be defined. 1. Telephones in hotel guest rooms. In this case, the room number corresponds to the extension number, which doesn't change when the guest checks out, but rather remains fixed. Number 2. In a business where a new employee assumes the role and telephone number of his or her predecessor, the physical phone and its number are fixed. 3. In an inbound call center where the phones are used for receiving incoming calls, employees may work from a variety of stations to which they are assigned randomly, but the calls are routed to fixed extensions. The second option is device and user mode. In this mode, the endpoint device is not paired with a specific extension number. The actual extension number can be applied to any endpoint in the system. This allows the user to roam between endpoints using the one that is most convenient at any given moment. In this mode, the user logs in and out of the phone to activate and deactivate the relationship between the extension number and the device. Here are some examples of endpoints for which device and user mode should be defined. Number one, for employees that work at a fixed desk in different locations, such as in the office and at home. This mode allows them to make and receive calls from both locations in an identical manner. Number two, for salespeople who man a hot desk where the phone device is available on a first come first served basis. The available telephone device is assigned to the specific employee extension when he or she logs in. Number three. Say you're running an outbound call center which operates 24-7. You'd like to be able to track which employee made which calls. So, you assign each an employee an extension and have them log in at the beginning of their shift and log out at the end. Now let's see how to set up the endpoint mode in the Complete PBX system. From the Complete PBX Launchpad, select the Administration module. Go to the Settings menu and select the Advanced option. Scroll down to the System Setup section and locate the User and Devices mode parameter. Determine whether you want to set up the system in Extension mode or Users and Devices mode. Once you make your selection, click the green checkbox to the right of the field to save the selection and then click the red Apply Configuration button at the top of the screen. Note, if you are setting the system to use device and user mode, you also need to set the Dynamically Generate Hints parameter in the Dial Plan and Operational section to True. This will ensure that actions that the employee has associated with this extension be carried over to the next endpoint he or she uses. For extension mode, this parameter should be set to false. This topic is covered in detail in the Complete PBX Reference Guide, which is available for download in PDF format from our website.